And that's right, Richard. So the nationwide shortage of children's fever and pain medications is about to ease just a bit. Health Canada saying today that a million bottles of foreign supply will be hitting store shelves sometime next week. And this comes, of course, as a hard-hitting viral season is making kids very sick, sending a record number of children to pediatric hospitals. It's very frustrating for us um, parents. I mean, you can just imagine the number of parents with firstborn kids and just kids, you know, desperate to get medication when their kids are ill. Harv Takar is a pharmacist at this PharmaSave just outside Toronto. His shelves sat empty for many months as a steady stream of parents were searching for the basic medications to treat their children. Two weeks ago, he decided to take a trip to Buffalo to help out his community. You took it upon yourself to find your own supply. I went into like five to six pharmacies and brought their, their shelves were pretty stacked. Uh, I, I wouldn't say fully stacked. I would say that they had supply. So there wasn't a shortage it seemed to be over there as it is here. Takar says he's been keeping those 25 bottles behind the counter and distributing to parents as needed. According to Health Canada, hospitals now have a decent stock of children's acetaminophen and ibuprofen, and by next week, both forms of the liquid medications will be available to parents across the country. Health Canada also says the shortage of children's antibiotics, such as amoxicillin, is not as critical as the fever medications, but mitigation efforts are underway, including looking at help from other countries. Supply to pharmacies may be impacted here and there as measures are taken to equitably distribute inventories but alternatives also remain available. Takar tells me he only has a couple bottles of children's antibiotics right now saying it's a constant challenge for pharmacists to get their hands on supply. I mean I've searched every antibiotic that's in a liquid form. Uh, I do it daily. I first thing in the morning I come in and I check to see if there's anything available. If there is I try to order it. This comes as pediatric hospitals are being flooded with sick kids as several viruses are circulating. The national test positivity rate right now is 8% for RSV and 16% for flu. Today, the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario updated their situation, saying the number of young children needing resuscitation upon entry to the ER is staggering. Last November, for in the first two weeks of November, we would have had 17 children of all ages who were tagged as a CTAS-1 and needing urgent intervention for whatever they were presenting with. This year, so far in those first two weeks, we've had 44. And right now, Chio says his pediatric ICU is operating at 200% capacity and that it is planning for this wave of viral illness to continue through the holidays and into the new year.